Hello, happy Sunday. So I do have some, um, if you saw my one video, I did Scentsy Empties and I'm, Empties and I'm gonna do vendor and retail. So first off, I'm gonna start off with a candle, berry waffle cone. I This is completely empty. I actually did this, finished this in my um, hot plate. It burned down here. And then I just find that I can get even a better throw on my own. Oh, it's not a hot plate. It's the um, candle crock. So I stuck it in the candle crock. Um, you know, the candle crock is taller, obviously, and does better with some of the Yankee or other candles. But I do stick this in there, and I'm not, I don't take it out until it's completely cooled and hardened. Um, but as soon as I did, I went like this, and it, the wax just popped right out. This is a beautiful scent. This is sweet. Summer berries, golden waffle cone, creamy vanilla. The waffle cone in this with the berries is phenomenal. This, this and summer boardwalk, which is right here, are some of my favorites from Bath and Body. Okay, and then beach nights, I finished this body cream. This is uh, toasted marshmallows, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, creamy vanilla. Love that. And then berry waffle cone in the um, body cream. I do have one now that I'm working on. I love that. I should have gotten more of it. Um, I did put iced um, cranberry scone in. Uh, or that's what this was. I finished that, changed out, and put a new one in. And then I finished two soaps in the bathrooms. Rainbow cereal. And then uh, sea salt and lime. And then I did finish a Candy Panda Mystery Whipped Body Scrub. I absolutely love the body scrubs and their shaving. They have a shaving soap that's in one of these containers. So good. I love these two. I would repurchase both of these. I have extras right now on both of them. But that was a win for me. So now what I'm going to do with the vendor wax is I'm going to like go off. I organize it and we're going to kind of go with that. Let's start with L3. Let's do empties first, and then we'll do the one on empty. So I finished pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla pound cake. It was so strong, I just don't love it. It, I don't, I don't know if it's the pumpkin pecan waffles that I find that I really don't like. I'm not sure, but I did not enjoy this. It was very strong though. All right, let's see what other loaves I finished. S Season of the Witch, was, which is apples and leaves. This is such a great blend. It performs so well for me. I just, it's not a love love. Most of these I would not repurchase again. This one was um, strawberry pound cake espresso don't cost streams. I didn't get any throw from this. I did this upstairs and I couldn't even smell it. Um, I finished this one pistachio pudding cake don't cost streams. I did like this originally, but it didn't ha have performance when I warmed it. It is um, over a year old. Uh, this one is Twinkies Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. This one was okay on performance. Christmas Vacation, which was from last November, or no, last September, cinnamon, sugar, green apples, birthday cake. This was okay, not super strong. Okay, sorry. Um... This one, again, is Mondovi Fair. I named this one. This one was for my customs. It's Circus Concessions Mac Apple. Oh my gosh, it was so, so, so good. I would repurchase this one, so I'm gonna set that over there. And then this one, um, I just started this loaf. This is white chocolate, apple, and toffee. It's it's not bad, it's just not a favorite of mine, but I will try to finish this the, in my melting basket. So that is L3. Let's go with super tarts next. I'm gonna start with clams. So I did do some mixing with these. All right, let's see what I did. Okay, these two, I mixed Lucy and marshmallow dramatic because Lucy is mac apple sweetened cereal, sugar milk marshmallows, and Malo dramatic is mac apple spun cake marshmallow fluff because one of these isn't enough in my open concept. So I put this in my entryway in my dining room and then I did this in my main area. So they complement each other well. It performed well, I would say about eight hours. Um, after that, I really couldn't smell it, so I changed it. All right, and then I mixed, oh, let's see. Nope, this one I did in my husband's bathroom and laundry room. It is sand dollar cookies, citrus, sweet florals, vanilla musk, sponge sugar, um, and 
and then sugar cookies. It was okay. A lot of these I just don't love, okay? Cedric, if you don't have another banana blend that you love, this one was great. Banana whipped cream, pie crust, almond macaroons, kettle corn. I did this in my bedroom bathroom. I just wanted to finish it up. I like banana scents in, in my bedroom bathroom. Uh, the banana is, is rump-like, but I'm okay with that. I, it's just really hard to find a very authentic banana. It was good. I have other bananas that I prefer better, so I won't repurchase that. Sookie, which I think I mixed this with some other blend in here. It's gingerbread, yellow cake, applesauce, buttercream. I do like this. It is good, um, but the um, apple kind of overrides the gingerbread in this, so it's more apple to me. It was very good, though. Okay, and then Mr. Hyde um, was French baguette, wild berry mousse, mac, apple, cinnamon. This one was good, not a love, okay? Like, I just am finding I'm, like, there are some things I really am enjoying. So why not just use, you know, use those up and um, enjoy them that way? Like, once you warm them, you find out if you love or like them. Okay, this one, I really, really enjoyed. This one if it were so it might be it's fruity ring cereal lemon curd orange cream if you don't have a strong lemon blend that you love this was phenomenal the performance was um about six hours on this this was her half bam which i was okay with i put it in around two but by eight o'clock i really could not smell this at all i forgot what was in my warmers and this but this one throws so strong for that time but i have like if you don't like sassy girl aroma has fantasy land which i love that lemon one so this was great um so just if you can get either one and you love lemon bakery these were really really that was really really good and it performed so well so i have been double bagging and i just wanted to show you that i did order these um i can put the link down below um so i am ordering these and i will reuse these to double bag but i have been doing that now so people you know i just wanted to show you that if I am double bagging it, I will unbag it here and I will reuse them with just another bakery. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I can get the most out of my scents, okay? So Snape is a Swedish sugary cookie, something cookie I wrote. This was okay. I mean, it performed well. It's just not a love. It was great though. I, I mean, it really was. Um, Goldberg's, I said strong for two days. Oatmeal, scotchery. Scotchy sugar cookies caramel. This is really good. I probably would repurchase this one. This one is a really good oatmeal cookie kind of blend. I don't generally like that, but this one I'm going to set over here because I do really enjoy that and I would repurchase that one. Uh, Nova Prime is bakery shop sweet lemon meringue blackberry cream. It was good, medium. Um, it's not a favorite, I wrote. It was, yeah, it was good. I've been writing with Sharpies as if I'm finishing them. These are like all her full bam bags and I was so excited to use these now I to be fair these bags I did use all of them and I went on my whole downstairs and all the way upstairs so I didn't just do it on one level it was on two stories because I had enough and I'm really working on finishing these because these are over a year old maybe even a year and a half old and I want to just make sure I'm using them up this one this is very spicy Beetlejuice from super oh, we're on super tart still apple Oatmeal cookies, cinnamon cream pancakes, strong, spicy, good. Smells like, oh, this to me smelled like Southbound's pumpkin cream puff. I don't know why, but I think it's because of that spicy note that it really reminded me of that. This was so good. I didn't take this out of my warmer, I think, for two days. This, I would repurchase Beetlejuice. So good. I saw that um, Brandy was working on label new labels for her clams. I'm all about that. I've said, originally I ordered from her because it was around fall last year and I was really hoping to get her fun fall labels and then she wasn't able to do those because of copywriting and I totally understand that. Starfleet, this is zucchini bread, jelly donut, sugar cookies. This was strong, three days. This was good. It was good. Not a love love, but this, in case you want, are thinking about this one, it was very strong and it did very well. Um, like I said, so I have found, and these are over a year old, so still performing um, for me. This is Rosemary's Baby. I just didn't love this one. I know a lot of people do, but it's Bedtime Bath, Rosemary Mint, Herbal Lavender. Again, this being said, let's bring up the lovely topic of the big drama. I am generally not a big lover of 
lavender, clean, fresh scents. So when I review a vendor that just makes those scents, yes, maybe it's going to not come off as like screaming ecstatic, you know, attitude, but that's because I'm this big bakery lover. But that doesn't mean that I can't review a brand and or a vendor and I can't give my input because this is, you know, that's kind of what I'm here for. So I know a lot of people love this Rosemary's Baby. It's just, that's not my wheelhouse. I warmed it at night, it was fine, but I wouldn't repurchase it again. And that's kind of how I am. I, sometimes I try to venture out, you find it's not a win, and then you don't continue with that, you know, scent or that vendor. Um, again, but I will purchase from people who are kind and treat me with professionalism, um, which Super Tarts has always done. I I don't generally have complaints with her. Um, Bell was good, 12 hours, medium throw. It's blackberry um, cereal or sweet cereal, marshmallow, milk, Earl Grey tea, sweet cakes. I abbreviated, sorry. Some of these get really long, so I just try to abbreviate. This was really good. And 12 hours, that's great for me. I know some of you are like, oh, I want my vendor, you know, my wax reform longer. Well, I have different expectations. Again, it's just what you expect from a vendor and then that kind of sets you up for it, right? Um, did this in my husband's bathroom and laundry room. This is Orange is the New Black, Orange Juice, Toasted Mallow, Pomegranate. Again, I'm not a big citrus, citrus lover, but this is really good. It performs so well, and my husband likes these kind of scents. So sometimes you purchase a scent because, you know, you want to purchase it for your spouse, significant other, partner, whatever. So that one, it is great, and it performs so well. This one is Mr. Myers. Now, I know this is a favorite. This I wrote good. It's strong. Fall leaves, campfire, vanilla bean. It is this weird, smoky, clean scent. It's not like bad by any means. It's just very different and unique. I'm going to enjoy finishing this, and but I wouldn't repurchase it. I have other ones from her, like Pet Cemetery, which is now Walk the Dog. Um, she has Middle Earth. Like she's got so many different unique blends and Krampus is right now on her pre-order, the Christmas one. Krampus is like salty sea air, pepper, patchouli. Okay, that's generally, if you've watched my channel, I would be like, that's not my jam. But Jen sent me that in a random act of kindness and it is phenomenal. So again, if you know what I kind of review and what wax I love, that's gonna, I'm gonna tell you that's just insanely good. So good. I have to see how many bags I have left of that. Pet Cemetery, Krampus. There's some that I absolutely love. And if you ever want a suggestion for me based on my wheelhouse, just ask me. Like I, 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 I am never opposed to other people's opinions again, because something that just because I don't like certain scents doesn't mean that someone else won't. Like my thing says, buy it, warm it, review it, see what you think. And your opinion is okay. No matter what your opinion is, it's you're allowed to have your opinion. Um, there's a big saying my friends and I have is we're going to agree to disagree. Sometimes that's going to happen in life, okay? It's just how you handle the situation that really shows your character, okay? Next one. The next part is just some one-offs. Um, Southbound, cotton candy cream cake. Strong, one and a half days. If you love cotton candy... Southbound's wax performs so well for me. Love her as a vendor. This is so good. I will repurchase this. It's going to go over in this side. So when she offers that again, I'm going to get that. Honestly, that was phenomenal cotton candy. I would purchase a loaf if she had that. Um, this is Kathy Scoopable. It's pumpkin graham crackers, which is vanilla pumpkin blended with graham crackers. It wasn't strong enough. I put this in my entryway. But to be fair, it was it was this size. I did put it in the two warmers, but that is a big area, so I it's okay. I, if I would have had like a full scoopable and put it in my entryway and my dining room, because those two rooms are more connected, I think I would have been able to smell it better. It wasn't bad, it was just, that's a big space, but it's also not a favorite scent. When I warmed it and walked over by the warmers, I was like, it's a good pumpkin, it's just not my favorite pumpkin, okay? Kathy has a lot of other great pumpkin scents. Oh my gosh, her scarecrow treats or something like that is so good. All right, Sassy Wax Melt. I can't even tell you what this was because her labels for me have come off. So I, it, it was in my bedroom bathroom and it, I, it, it's a bakery of some sort. I kind of do smell um, a uh, sweet bakery. I literally cannot read this label at all. It was good, I would say, light to medium, but I am working on using this because I think this is well over a year ago. 
Um, and I am warming some today in my open concept. I'm trying to go through her wax because I don't know the longevity. If you do, please let me know in the comments. Again, she's a newer to me. Like I bought from her two or three times. She's got one of my favorite um, cotton candy strawberry lemon blends. It's called Smash Hit from Sassy Wax Melts. If you love that kind of scent, it is phenomenal when you warm it like those scents together and how she combines it I don't it's so so good I actually want to purchase that because I found with her wax if I let it sit like two to four months I get way better performance because I have warmed it when I initially got it after the two weeks it wasn't as strong and then I waited like two four months and then it was much better so generally I've had great performance with her all right this is oh Destination pomegranate apple cider was a sample. I used this in my husband's bathroom and it was really good, strong, not a favorite of mine. He didn't comment on it. Unless he comments, I'm not going to repurchase it, right? Um, Hayden Roll Blue Hawaiian, which is coconut, citrus, cherry, pineapple. I did this in the laundry room. Really good, yummy blue Hawaiian scent. Um, Ava's Country Cupboard Frankenstein. So good. This is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Blend. It's going to my laundry room right now. So good. And it's just a sample and it's perform it's performing so well. No, my laundry room is still a good size, okay? And I keep the door open and I can still smell it. Savannah Blue Santa Baby. This was really good. It was more light on performance, but this is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Birthday Cheesecake Cake Better Ice Cream. This was still great though. Even though the performance was more light, I thoroughly enjoyed it every time I went in my room and my it was in my bedroom bathroom. I just was like Ah, there's Savannah Blue's Santa Baby, and Nicole Perry loves this. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but it was so good. I think I've still left it in for like two days because every time I went in there, it just made me happy. So I would repurchase it. Everything doesn't have to be super strong. It just is what you think of the scent on warm. I just, okay. All right, this is um, Ashes Scents, but I know she changed her name. Can someone leave a comment below if you know what it is? I forgot. This is Bright Lights and Wide Eyes. It's Christmas Wish Kringle Crumble Funnel Cake. She's got all these unique blends. I won this sampler. Someone on Instagram put me in. I'm sorry, I forgot who it was. And I won this and that was so cool. And I have been warming through her wax. Oh my gosh, does it perform? Like this was like two shapes and I still didn't have enough room in my mini warmers and my laundry room and bath and my husband's bathroom to do this. It was so good. Such unique blends. Loved it. Um, I did one from Candy Panda. It's the Roasted Marshmallow. This is like, this is a marshmallow fireside. I did this in my laundry room. Loved it. Great performance on that little sampler or a little sample, whatever. Okay. And then I did um, Gentle Decay up here in the, um, my kids um, are upstairs. I can't talk. Sorry. This is Petticore Roasted Pine Cones Crushed Tonka Bean. Her blends are so unique. This is definitely a pine, but like with a strong um it's almost like a clean note with a little bit of pineapple or pineapple peppermint oh my gosh it was very very good i will probably get two more melts out of this it was so strong so strong i dropped that okay birdie's making sense she gifted this to me uh it was so beautiful this is campfire nights are the best nights crackling birch vanilla bean noel marshmallow fireside this was, she had, if you watch my video I did on this, she had this, it's a fire, and then there is, um, we're making s'mores. She gave this in honor of my son. She sent me this. So good. The I love crash, crackling birch scents with the vanilla bean and the marshmallow fireside. My only thing would be, I think I would do crackling birch sugar cookie and marshmallow fireside, but that's just like a little bit more bakery side, but this was so, so good. Her wax is so soft and I'm sorry it's so messy. I chopped it up and then um, and then I used it last week. Um, it just was missing my son. And this just, this reminds me of sitting by the fire with him. And he usually was, he had a lot of seizures. So he didn't, he did cry a lot. So when I warmed this, it just makes me happy and reminds him of him. So thank you so much for making this for me. That is just the kindest thing ever. And that was Birdie making sense. Okay, in here, I'm dividing this by vendor if I can, okay? So this is Dessa's. I was warming through a bunch of samples because I did get my pre-order. I haven't posted a video yet. I will be posting that. Um, let's see, Season of Snow. I can't remember if I got this. I sure hope I did. I did this half of this sample because it was too big. Oh, this is so good. 
I don't remember what the scent notes are on this, but I really enjoy this sample. I'm going to put that over here because I would get more of that. New Orleans vignettes. Oh, so good. I did this in the laundry room because right now I have, in my candle crock, I have a berry waffle cone. So I've been trying to do samples that kind of complement. This was so good with it. Nordic Christmas, I did this in my husband's bathroom. He did enjoy this. I would get more of that. It, I may have one though. So I have to look because he likes more of the, like he said, pulpery, like kind of scents. So I'm not, that's not my generally my wheelhouse. And thank you last time when I mentioned in my Scentsy video, I know several of you have commented on some recommendations. So I did screenshot that. So next time I order, I could order some of those for him because he that's what he said he likes. This is Candy Cane Forest. This is really good as well. I think this is Candy Cane and I don't know, but this is really Candy Cane with like, kind of like you're walking outside again. More of like that earthy freshness scent. Autumn Bliss. This was okay. I think my husband did enjoy that, so I will put that over there. October, I warmed this for him and luckily I did order some more of this, I believe. And he did enjoy this. And this is a little bit more not my favorite, but he likes it. Yes. Oh, this is like apple cider and it kind of does give me a little spicy note though. So he liked that one. Last but not least, this was, um, I got this in March. I put my little sticker on it, which is fading because of the wax oils. And the bar is getting pretty messy, so I thought I would use this up. It's mint julep bar. It's lime juice, muddled mint leaves, sugar crystals. Sure, yeah. I don't love this. It's a nice minty scent, but again, let me just say mint and those kind of scents are not my ultimate favorite. So again, that's just my, not my normal wheelhouse, but this performs so strong upstairs here. It was good, okay? So last but not least, I have one more basket. Okay, I'll try to keep, these should be organized. I did organize them by vendor. So let's start with Zape. This was light. This was American Pie, Mac, Apple, Blueberries, Whipped Cream, Vanilla Ice Cream. This was from last fall, I believe, or somewhere around there. So maybe just over a year. It was just too light for me. I did this whole thing in my bedroom bathroom and I could just smell a little bit of Mac Apple and that was it. It was not a great performer for me. And then this is Season of the Witch. I know this is popular. This is dried leaves, toasted marshmallow, um, caramel cider. This to me smells a lot like leaves, right? I think, I mean, that's really what I get in this is that it reminds me of leaves. And I finished the scoopable. I don't know if she has pour dates on here, but this is from last fall. I ordered a ton from her last fall and I still have so much to go through. So I did not order from her for her fall restock. I am really trying to be good, okay? And like I said, I really wanted to work on the scoops that I have from her from last year. Okay, uh, favorite vendor of mine is Harper James. This one I wrote, it was light, um, and I did use it with this sample and then this in my bedroom bathroom. It's funnel cake, caramel apple, popcorn. It was so good though, but I just, I did order a one of her bigger like brittles in this in this as well so i'm gonna let that cure a little bit longer i think this was from maybe may or june i bought this um and it was a couple shapes so i'm gonna let the one that i have cure a little bit longer and retry it so i'm hoping i get more medium strong performance but it's very good with the funnel cake i do get some of the pop popcorn and then the apple in this so this is not normal like this doesn't compare to like circus concession from rose girl it's different and i like that it's different because i like the popcorn aspect in this okay so i do have more of that and um i am i'll let it cure a little bit longer and i'll let you know i did do this okay this was phenomenal apple cider donut i want more of this this i did in my laundry room Oh my gosh, I have made this clear. I'm not always the biggest apple person, but this literally, the apple orchard right now, it's busy, it's apple season. They make these amazing apple cider donuts. This is exactly what it smells like there. And this performs so well, I could smell it in the hallway. I will repurchase this. I, I know it's shocking, I don't have more of that right now. Okay, these were two customs, oh on the contrary, and this is lead car. They're both from Big Bang sayings that Sheldon, it, if you watch Big Bang, you know what it is. Um, so this is Volcano Pineapple Hint of Salty Sea Air. I Next time I'm going to do pineapple or I'm going to do Salty Sea Air Volcano Hint of Pineapple. I'm going to change it up a little bit next time I do this. This was medium throw, but I, and I loved it. Loved, loved this. This was a day and a half. 
It was so, so good. I just want more salty sear next time. And I told her this, like she did this based on what I said. Her labels are stunning. Like love, love this, okay? Love Mary. Mary is the owner of Harper James. Lead car, so this is toasted marshmallow, cotton candy, saltwater taffy. This is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I will repurchase more of this. So actually I want more of these too. So I'm gonna put these over in my reminder. I keep those until I reorder them. So good. Okay, um, let's do um, Sassy Girl Aroma Mellow Lavender. I did this in my husband's bathroom. Again, I'm not the biggest lavender person, so let me preface this in case you forgot. Um, it was good, I'm just not a lavender lover, okay? So again, it was good, <laughs> just not my wheelhouse. This was gifted me from to me from Jen. It's Don't Be a Karen. Cherry Crumb Pie Frosted Animal Cookies. Very good, I did this upstairs. So good. I'm not usually a cherry, but this with the frosted um, animal cookies was very good. Performance was great. Um, pink Sleepy Time. I'm almost done with this bag. I probably have one more use out of this. I've actually used this like four times already, I believe. Um, this is pink sugar, peppermint, lavender, spearmint, and chamomile. I use this at bedtime because generally, again, lavender is not my biggest wheelhouse, but it, it, I enjoy it at bedtime, okay? So I put this in a couple hours before bed, and then I go to bed, and then in the morning, sometimes I do smell vendors that have lavender, sometimes I don't. This one I can smell in the morning still. Very good. I have um, brittles in this and other things. I don't think she's making these bags anymore, but my kids love to squeeze this into my warmers for me, but they laugh because they say it looks like dog poo. So there you go. You need to ask Julie for this. This is fun, fall fun carnival. Sugar cookie, kettle corn, and vanilla bean Noel. This is not like circus concession. Oh my gosh. This is light when you smell the loaf and in the bag. And then you put this little baby in within a couple hours. It is phenomenal and strong. Like I had this in for two days, I think it was, two and a half days. I don't keep my warmers on at night except one and I could smell this. And then I, when I woke up and then I turned on all the warmers and it was just amazing. You get the kettle corn, but it's not too buttery for me. But remember, I like popcorn scents. So if you don't, you don't get it, right? Just don't get scents if they're not in your real house. I've, I'm learning that lesson a lot because, yeah, um, I definitely get the cookie and then the vanilla just creams this out. This is a great, great fall scent. I I have no words. This was so good. But on cold, I was like, yeah, it so, seems light to me. I'm not going to like this. And then I was just like, what the heck's in my warmer? And then I went and looked and I was like, wrote this on Sharpie. Oh my gosh. I will repurchase that. I'm going to ask her for that again. It just blew me away. One I didn't like, and I know that this is a favorite of a lot of people. Again, it's just opinion and preference. This I wrote, it was okay. Marshmallow cookies, um, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge. Now, this one was, it was just more basic to me. So if you go compare the two, this one was just, it was a nice cookie scent. It was just okay. Now, some people really like this, and that's totally fine. But I've said before, when I've worn my Scentsy um, Vanilla Bean Buttercream, it, that is a great everyday scent that if you have company come on, coming over, it's safe. I would say the same about this. It was good. It's just not like I'm going to pick this to put in my warmer. So I'm not going to repurchase this. Sorry, it needs to go on this side. Um, but it was good. But again, there's nothing wrong with scents like that because not everybody, when you have company, wants to come over and smell, smack you in the face scent. That's okay, right? One that is phenomenal, and Jen gifted me this. This is Beach Night Type. I think she calls it something else now. I, she has so many Beach Night blends. I wrote strong, love, love, love. This was like two days. I was actually gonna put this in my warmer today, and I put something else in, and I was like, but this is gonna go in again this week, because when I was sorting these, I was like, this is the best Beach Night I, I Julie has the best beach night, I will say that. This is phenomenal and it's strong. I think that's why I think her beach night is the best because her beach night is so strong. I wonder if she's ever done customs because boy, would I love to mess with her blends. Just like, especially with like beach night blends, right? Okay, so then let's go to Britta's. So I did a lot of samples because I'm working, trying to work through some samples. Um, this is Always Be Special, which is apple, cinnamon, icing, almond, biscotti. This was good. 
again, I did these in the, I did these in the laundry room with the um, candle, the berry waffle cone that I have in my candle crock. Um, this is, this is Halloween vanilla, pumpkin, marshmallow, cupcakes at Tiffany's sugar cookie. I could definitely smell the cupcakes at Tiffany's competing with the berry waffle cone with this one. <laughs> Um, this one I did in my husband's bathroom. I did order a loaf in this. I do have a pre-order that I had placed with her. I think it was at the beginning of September, somewhere around there. I did order this one. Sugar cookie, vanilla bean, marshmallow, sweet and creamy patchouli. Her, again, I have never liked patchouli, but I did reach out to Britta's and this is again, preference because I bought the Exorcist on a whim and I warmed it because I was like, oh, I'm not really sure about this. I gave my opinion in my um, haul and then I warmed it and came back and that is a favorite scent. I've made reels on it, I've commented, I've requested it, I've bought her big walker loaf in it. Sometimes when you warm stuff, you even on cold sniff, you are like, I'm not really sure of that. And Britta reached out to me, cause you know, I don't like scary shapes and she was so sweet and she's like, is everything okay with your order? I'm like, absolutely it is. Just cause I don't prefer the scary shapes, I just cut them up, it's not a big deal. What matters is how it performs. And then I reached out to her because I told her I didn't really care for patchouli. And then I warmed it and I emailed, messaged her back on Facebook and I was like, your, I don't know what you have in your patchouli woman, but that thing is phenomenal. So again, she handled things like just because I wasn't sure on cold, she reached out to me with professionalism. And then I reached out to her as soon as I warmed it. And I was like, whatever oil you have for patchouli, buy it always and even if it costs more just tell your customers because that her patchouli is i don't like patchouli but hers is done whatever oil she uses is phenomenal so is it bubba shook i did order this in a loaf it is very good warmed again i love her and here i warmed this one i had in the souffle with that one it was so good. I will say it again. I'm not a patchouli person. And I said that on my cold sniff. But when I warmed it, I was just so blown away. Her oil that she has makes all the difference. And I just, I thoroughly enjoy her. <laughs> all right, let's do Rose Girls. Um, sunset in July. I do have this. It's dated 513. So I wanted to warm this before next summer. Cherry Berry Punch Blue Hawaiian Satsuma Pineapple. This is a favorite, favorite summer blend of mine. I have two other bags in this. This is phenomenal. If you love any of these scents, the cherry in this is not medicinal. It is fabulous, like ripe, ripe cherry. You get the satsuma, you get the Hawaiian punch, you get the, the pineapple. This is so dang good. And I already have some, so I'm not going to put it in that side. This is, this was okay. I warmed this in my bedroom bathroom because this was older. This was like a year and a half old and I wanted to see if it would perform and it did. It was just okay. Snickerdoodle butter pecan cookies. I think if I would have warmed this initially, it probably would have been a little stronger and I would have liked it more. But because it was more light, it was just okay. But gosh, I have so many, so much wax. Like I just want things to be exceptional. I love this. This is cookie land. I just wanted to show you that I am double bagging my new stuff that comes in. I will reuse that bag. Um, this was from February of 2022. This is so good. It's like, I have been writing scent notes on them now. It's like a, I don't want to botch the notes, but it's a lovely bakery cookie, uh, toffee blend. It's so, so good. I love any of her cookie blend, cookie land blends. Lemonade. I added this upstairs. I wanted to finish this because this was, this is like a year and a half old. And this is so strong. I mean, this is such a strong, strong lemonade. And everybody says that. It truly is. Um, one, more, one more I did was in the laundry room and my husband's bathroom, which isn't a great place, but this was a sampler. I got um, raspberry mocha rice crispy treats. I would repurchase this. This is really done well. And I'm generally not like a mocha. I don't like the chocolate in my wax, but that was so good warmed. Her raspberry is really good. Another raspberry that I absolutely love. If you want one of my favorite raspberries ever, it's from VCS. This is Martha's Raspberry Cheesecake. I actually had to combine these two because in my open concept, there was no way that this shape was gonna work. I needed more wax and it, they did fine. So Martha's Raspberry Cheesecake is zucchini bread, vanilla butter, fudge, raspberry cheesecake, cupcakes at Tiffany's. And her Southern Raspberry Southern Charm is cornbread muffins, raspberry jam, um, vanilla butter fudge zucchini bread okay it, they are both great i don't know that i have a favorite but anything with her raspberry is exceptional her collectible lunchbox if you haven't tried that that was a blend that i believe her and ju came up with it is amazing 
amazing. I love this scent, Cindy Lou Who. This is cranberry ginger ale. Her ginger ale is, again, exceptional. Just saying, just sometimes you try vendors and you love them. Sometimes you try them and you just, you know, their scents aren't your favorite. Okay, Kay's Scented Melt. I have been trying to warm through the scent shots that I have because when I initially hauled, if you watch my old, old videos from a year and a half ago, I bought a ton of these. So I've been working on warming some more of Kay's. Sweet on Paris. This is really good. Yes, I love that scent. And I love that she's custom all the time. Uh, we Three Kings, I purchased more of this when I bought more clams in her July sale. Blue Sugar Palo Santo Marshmallow Fireside. Love that. And I have more of that. Black Sea, I did two of these. This one is more like a nice man's cologne. My husband liked this. It's eucalyptus, menthol, leaf, citrus, um, spice, and amber. He enjoyed that one. Okay. Now let's do Salt Mountain Melt by the fireplace. Apparently Drew told me this is a like a, a cologne dupe or whatever. Chestnuts, clove, smoky wood, uh, vanilla, and neroli. This is really good. It is so unique. I don't really, I'm not going to butcher describing this, but if you like that cologne that's labeled by the fireplace, you would obviously enjoy this. This is still going to my warmers after two days. I'm going to take it out after I'm posting this video because it literally has been there two days. I can still smell this. It started out strong and it sat at medium since then. This is really, really good. I mean, I said I wasn't going to order, but I definitely think my husband, I might leave it until my husband gets home. He's been gone all weekend, weekend musky fishing and him and my son are like first and third place in this musky tournament. They have gotten some big muskies. He sent me pictures, but he'll be home. So I might leave it in until he smells it. If he likes it, I might just order more because then I could use it in his bathroom for him. Um, another one I wish she would pour is her peanut butter and jelly. This is strawberry jam, bread, peanut butter, and honey. I definitely smell the honey. You get like a crunchy wheat bread and then... You, I get more of like those scents than I do anything else. But this is any vendor that I have the PB and J, their oils are the same that I've reviewed. Um, if you love that scent and you want to know any more, just message me and I'll let you know. But um, Salt Mountain has one. Um, Teddy Bees has one, but she hasn't poured it in like a year. And then I, this is from. August of last year and she has a pre-order today but I she doesn't have this I wish she would um and Dexter Pores has one that's really it's the same oil I wish I could find more vendors that have customs that have that let me know if you know of any I wrote strong one and a half days I took it out of the warmer it would have gone longer but I just took it out because I want I like to change my wax at least every couple days okay the melted mousse I did Kiss My Grass, which is fresh cut grass, do summer sunshine and watermelon sugar high together, which is watermelon candy, sweet strawberry, pink sugar, marshmallow fluff. It was really, really good. Both very strong scents. I finished uh, Morning Pumpkin, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread and coffee, strong for three days. It was so darn strong. I finished that. I think I have a souffle left in it, I think. I did this in my bedroom bathroom, strong three hearts. It is sugar cookies, candy canes, white chocolate Noel. This is so good. This is, I think I did this at um, bedtime. It was so darn good. Um, this is strawberry mango colate. I wrote good. It's medium throw. Mango sorbet, strawberry milkshake, coconut milk. I didn't love, love it. I wouldn't repurchase that one. But one I did love is Razzmatazz, which is blue ra raspberry, slushy, cotton candy, and fizzy pop. It was so strong and amazing. And I only had like four pieces left of this souffle, but it, oh my gosh, it's such a great blend. Um, I did a couple um, one-offs from Lord Apothecary, which is, she's not open right now for business. This is Cotton Candy, Fruit Loops, and Fizzy Pop. It's in my warmer right here. It's, it's good. I enjoy it, but you can't purchase from her. Um, this one is good. I've bought this several times when I was available. Backyard Campout, which is fresh cut grass. Fire pit, hint of clean cotton. Very good. Was poured last June. It performed so well for me upstairs. Just can't purchase from the vendor. Um, this one is so good. I did one souffle. Um, 
and I did it in my open console, big mistake. Now this one was chunk chunks when she did chunks Winterfell. This is from last October, so it's coming up on a year. This is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow in the middle. This is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, you get the birch in this, you get the Palo, you get a very smoky Marshmallow Fireside. I absolutely love this scent. I have more of this as well. And literally I don't have to use much for pieces. This performs so well. So this is about as how I cut my pieces. But now again, I did this in my open concept with the summer circus cookies and it couldn't hold up in there. But if I would have had two soufflés or half of, a, um, of this bag, I would have done fine. But I just think this wasn't strong enough. And this one was the summer circus cookies. Doesn't have a date on it. Oh yeah, it was June of 2021. But I've worn, like this one is from October of 2021. 20, I just think it didn't, the summer circus cookies couldn't stand up in my open concept. This is phenomenal. I, I bet if I put this in my open concept, it would do so good, but I do this in my bedroom bathroom because I absolutely love that scent. So that was a lot of wax. If you watch this, thank you so much for watching this. I'm so glad I divided it, but I think it's been like two, three weeks. That being said, thanks so much for commenting, watching, subscribing. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.